Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel or welcome back if you've been here before. My name's Liz and this is Let's Get Lizical where we do everything card making. Today I'm going to start off with a bit of a mini haul of things that I got from Hollow Tree Hobbies, uh, which today is a Instagram hop for. Today's my regular Friday video, so I'm using this as that as well, but I'll explain the hop and giveaway a little bit later so I have something to talk about while I fiddle with things. Um, but for now, um, I decided to do a square card for today. So this card measures five by five. I'm using the Doodlebug Bunny Hop paper pad, the six by six paper, which I've cut down to four and three quarters by four and three quarters. And I'll also be using the extra amazing Easter stamp set from Lawn Fawn with these cute, adorable little bunnies. Um, but I've also cut a plain white circle in my hammer mill cardstock, I think it's three and three quarters, and then the green grassy one is also from the paper pad, measures three and a half. I just wanted to mat it so that it kind of matched the border that I left around the outer edge. This polka dot paper is from the back of the yellow plaid, so I thought I would use it as like a ground for the circle. Uh, otherwise I could have just like left it kind of like floating in the middle of the card, but I think this just like added a little bit of extra color and funness to the card. I'm not used to using so many patterns on one card, but I really like how this one turned out. It's very spring, very, very Easter, and that's the whole point of this project. So right now I'm just assembling my background. Lately I've been like assembling my backgrounds and then working on my colored images on the front. Um, so I'm going to do that first and then I'm going to stamp a bunch of images. I had a vague idea of how I wanted this to look. Um, so I do try to like plan out in my head what I'm doing. Um, and I stamp a few extra things. I end up actually decorating the inside of this card because I had extra stamps. And normally I don't do that, but this one I did. I also didn't put a sentiment on the outside, but you can tell it's 100% for Easter with the little bunnies in the baskets. So I think for now I'll just play some music while I color and then I will do the explanation of the Instagram hop after while I fiddle with some other things.
Okay, so I'm back. I've stamped, colored, and cut these all out on my brother's Scan and Cut. The only thing is with the Scan and Cut, it will not cut out these inside bits. Um, I knew I was going to cut this out by hand afterwards, which is why I left the egg on the inside here. I just didn't want to waste the paper that was there. Um, so I'm going to fiddle with this for a while while I um, explain the Instagram hop. Um, so we're doing an Instagram hop for Hollow Tree Hobbies, which is a spring hop um, or Easter. And it, we're going to be doing a bit of a giveaway. So there's about eight of us who are doing projects for this. And I'll have all the information on my Instagram. So if you don't already follow me there, head on over to your Instagram and look up at Let's Get Lizical and you'll find me. Um, but Hollow Tree Hobby will be doing a $25 gift card giveaway. All you have to do is follow me and Hollow Tree Hobbies, like my post, leave a comment or tag a friend on that post. You have to live in Canada or the US for this giveaway. And you'll get a bonus entry for following each of the creators on the hop. Again, they'll all be listed on my Instagram post for this video. And the giveaway will close April 5th and a random person will be chosen on April 6th by Hollow Tree Hobbies on their Instagram. So make sure you head on over to Instagram and check it out. Um, so what I was doing while I was talking here is just fiddling with this basket um, because I don't buy coordinating dies for most things. I cut this out with my brother Scan and Cut. The brother Scan and Cut will not cut inside and outside images like this because it can't recognize like what areas you would want cut out. Uh, so again, I cut it out by hand. It was a little fiddly. It's very thin and I might just have to suck it up and buy the Cordani die set for this eventually, uh, maybe next year. But um, I ended up cutting up right against the eggs and the basket handle just so I could use a black marker to go around those edges so it would look a little bit less messy. It's, it was really hard for me to try to get that same white border um, pretty crisp. So I decided to do it that way instead. Now I'm just going to try to place all these on the front of the card. I did have a couple of different layout ideas. I don't like cards that are super busy, which is why I kind of stuck with like this kind of layout, but I did contemplate adding this other cute. This is my favorite bunny. The bunny with his hands up is super adorable. And I absolutely love these like little chocolate bunnies. They're so cute. Um, I end up doing an extra one here and I think I put it on the envelope after um, because I didn't have a space for it. I didn't want to put two of them in the basket. I might have been able to do it, but I, I used it on the outside of the envelope instead. Um, but yeah, this is my like cute little layout. Just quick and simple. There's not even a sentiment on the outside of the card. It's on the inside of the card, uh, which is where I glue that additional bunny as well because I didn't want to waste him. Uh, so I'm just going to glue everything down flat. I have enough dimension with the circle and I didn't want to add too much. So I'm just going to spend some time gluing here. And then on the inside of the card, I'm going to stamp the happy Easter sentiment and then glue the little bunny with his hands up above that. Once that's done, I'm going to move back to the front of the card, add a little bit of glossy accents to all of the eggs and the little chocolate bunny. And I'll use my Stardust Jelly Roll pen to add some glitter to the bow on the front of the basket. But that's about it for today. So I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to head on over to Instagram and check out the hop. Uh, please note that comments on this video will not include you in the hop. You do have to do it on Instagram, but I always appreciate everybody's comments here anyway. So if you would like to leave a comment down below and let me know your thoughts on this card, that'd be great. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future content. And I'll see you guys again next time. Thanks. Bye.